Hello, and thank you for joining me. Today we're going to be looking at a little bit of the list command, the ls command, which lists the file and directories. Of course, we can do something like this and say list all PDFs or all PNGs or all things starting with cats. You know, you know the basics of that. But let's say I want to show everything but a certain match. Let's say I want to show everything but files that start with uh, cat, or I want to show all files that aren't PNG files. How do I go about that? Well, there's there's two different ways. Of course, uh, with pretty much every command in your shell, you should be able to type in man ls and find out a find a manual file here. And if we search for here, there is a command that is the dash dash hide pattern. So do not list implied entries matching shell patterns. Uh, this will be all written by dash a and dash a. So let's go ahead and give that a try. So I can say uh, ls uh, dash dash hide equals and I'll say dot PNG. So now it should list all files but the PNG files. Great. I can do the same thing with PDF files. It will ignore all PDF files and I should be able to say all cat files, ignore those, uh, or at least ignore all dot cat uh, cat.jpg files, so we should still get our PNG files that have cat. So that's uh, using it the built-in hide command. Uh, but real quick, I'll touch on another thing that uh, I, I probably should do a whole video on, uh, but that is uh, called globbing. So to enable globbing in Bash, we're going to type in shopt-s, and we're going to say ext glob. And once you do that, uh, now globbing is enabled. So what we can do here now is we can also, we can do list and then we can do exclamation mark and then inside parentheses here say dot JPEG and it will ignore all dot JPEGs. Uh, we can say ignore all cat JPEGs and it will ignore those. We can say ignore all um, files that have cat at the beginning. Uh, we can ignore all files that have at anywhere in them. Uh, but you can also with globbing uh, do something like this. I can say ignore all dot jpegs pipe symbol and dot um, png files. So now it will list everything except for uh, jpegs and pngs. Uh, we can also say to ignore all dot gif or gif files. So now we're just looking at these PDF files. Uh, so that, that's globbing. And again, I can do a whole video on that. I might at some point. But if you ever see uh, something like this in a shell command, it's probably globbing. It does have to be enabled uh, with the shop s, but you can, I believe, if you do dash u, that turns it off. So now if I try to run that, yeah, it's not going to work. So you have to enable globbing. And uh, globbing is uh, very useful and used a lot of times. But I just want to go over a basic list command to invert those lists. So again, the built-in command for list would be the dash dash hide. So we have that, and then there's also globbing. Once globbing is turned on, you can do something like that. Anyway, that was just a, a quick overview of reversing that search. I thank you for watching, and as always, I hope that you have a great day. Visit filmsbychris.com. That's Chris with a K. There's a link in the description. Have a great day.